Hello dear students let us continue our chapter 5 separation of substance so dear students in our last class we discussed about what is separation of substance right yes in today's class we will learn about the methods of separation in today's class we will learn four methods that is hand picking churning threshing and winnowing so dear students hand picking how does your mom separate small pieces of stone and other impurities from wheat rice and pulses simply picking up by hand one by one right yes the method of hand picking can be used for separating impurities that are visible in eyes right they are present in small form of quantity that form a dirt and stones so this is known as hand picking the process of separating impurities from the wheat rice and pulses that is visible what can you see in this picture this is butter do you know how the butter is made when milk is stirred vigorously in a churn butter it is obtained what liquid left behind is tasty nutritive butter milk that is released by many as a refreshing summer drink do you see two useful component emerge from a mixture when this method of separ- separation is employed right threshing you must have seen bundle of wheat paddy stack lying on the fields after harvest have you pondered how farmers separate grains from the stack once the wheat of paddy crop is harvested the farmer stocks them together to form bundles then he leaves the bundle to dry in the sun once the stock is completely dry the farmer beats them against the hard floor to free the grains and this process is known as separating grains from the stock is known as threshing the process of separating grains from the stock is known as threshing the next one is winnowing what is winnowing you might have traveled in train right and you would have noticed a woman standing at a height and shaking the basket held over their head continuously what is this process called they are separating grains from the husk that is formed okay they are separating grains from the husk by simply allowing the wind to blow away the husk and other lighter impurities the heavier grain falls down on the ground in the heap so dear students you can see in the picture where is the husk going and where are the grains right yes and this process of separating impurities from the grains by allowing the current of air to blow away the lighter impurities is known as winnowing i hope you all have understood 
these four methods of separation let us continue the method of separation in the next session thank you class enjoy learning